Seth, you're the number one prospect in the league. You earned a 10-day contract last year. You're the league's top scorer. How close do you feel like you are to getting another opportunity to play in the NBA? I feel like I'm pretty close. I mean, but my focus is going out there every day, getting better, and letting all that handle itself. I mean, that's not that's not up to me. So I'm going out there working hard as I can every single day, trying to uh, show what I can bring to a team every time I step on the floor in a game, and in practice help this team uh, to try to get as, as many wins as we can. So um, that's my focus every single day. We had someone tweet us during the broadcast and asked what you needed to improve on to get a call up. I said nothing because if you get called up, you're going to get called up to shoot the basketball. You know, everybody can get stronger, everybody can have a better handle. But are you working on anything in particular other than getting the open looks and getting your own shot? I'm just working on different ways to get looks offensively. Um, playing with the, with the point guard and the two, playing a little bit of both. So uh, different ways of working without the ball to get my shot. And also uh, defensively, that's my main focus every single day. I try to come out here, uh, put pressure on the ball, try to be uh, pesky get my hands on balls and try to be as physical as I can defensively and show that I can help a team on both ends of the floor. And I think someone's trying us? to say hello. <laughs> this is Riley right here, my little niece. Hi, Riley. <laughs> so Seth said the family was in attendance. From his brother down to his niece, Riley, all taking in a 25-point performance and a win for Erie. Seth, thanks so much for joining us. All right, thanks a lot.